after spending the last few days in Jaipur, it was time for us to take a trip to one of the places we were most excited to see, the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is India's top attraction and is currently one of the wonders of the world. It's estimated that it receives over 8 million visitors each year and it's also said that no trip to India is complete without a visit to this incredible monument. I mean you have to come here and get your photo, I think that's the main thing that we've come for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so today we contributed to the 8 million visitors per year by taking an 8 hour round trip from Jaipur to Agra. To break up the journey, we had a little pit stop at another one of India's historic attractions. It's an archaeological site. Yes. Abaneri. Abaneri. It's supposed, supposed to be, be really cool. Beautiful. Yeah, it's supposed to be beautiful. Lovely, thank, thank you. you. Oh my god, look at that. Wow, this is quite cool, isn't it? Oh my god, over there. Jesus. It's lovely, isn't it? It's really unusual. Yeah, it is. So truth be told, we don't actually know that much about this place. It was recommended to us by Aleph on the, uh, from the homestay. He said that as we're going to the Taj Mahal on the way, there's a place called Abaniri, I think is how you say it. But um, it is very impressive. Yeah, it's like a archeological site. It says it's kind of like a, a stairwell down and there's like a well, I think at the end of it and there's some lads cleaning it. It's very early in the morning as well. It's just, it's just 8 a.m. We're on the road since six, so we're a bit. We're a little bit tired, and we're a little bit cold. <laughs> I'm just trying to process everything. It is uh, cool. When I was looking up photos and stuff, I actually had seen a lot of pictures of people at this. But yeah, for yeah. some reason, I thought I don't know if it's the same stairwell that I was looking at, but I thought people were actually on the steps. But it doesn't look like we can actually get over. It's, it's like right, there's yeah, a barrier yeah. around it, so I'm gonna, we're gonna we go and ask. Just have to look from here, kind of thing. But I think you might just have to look from here. But yeah. it is very. Very nice, it's it very impressive. Sunny. I've never seen anything like it before. Yeah, yeah. Well, that answers our question about getting over the barrier. You're not allowed. Some girl is just after jumping over and getting a picture. So she got her picture, but he, the security man came out and he was like, yeah, get back over. So we got some cool pictures though. Do yeah. you know what? I can't get over, honestly. The mount, see them birds? The, the green, green ones. birds. There know, they are. Yeah, they're like they're green absolutely pigeons. Gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, the colours of them. There's so many of them. You wouldn't think it, but it's freezing. Isn't it? It must be the first Irish man to be cold in India. Now we are in shorts and t-shirts, and in the sun, it is quite warm, but when you're in the shade, it's just freezing. I told Keelan not to complain because we're going to the Taj Mahal next, and it's gonna be warm, I'd say. You're gonna be complaining in about an hour's time, saying we're too warm, so I said, enjoy the coolness. Right, I'll try. <laughs> Well, that was an experience. Definitely worth a visit if you're into photography and taking pictures because yeah. it's really, really cool. Like, we got like some loads of different pictures with different angles. Like every part that you went, there was like a cool picture you could yeah, yeah. you could take. Yeah. And there's nobody here as well, so I don't know if it's like a really popular spot for people to come to. And we just got lucky or whatever. But like, yeah. we literally have it to ourselves. <laughs> After our little pit stop in Abaneri, it was time to jump back in the car and head straight for the Taj. Today is Thursday because every Thursday it's very crowded at the gate of Taj. Well, because every Friday Taj is closed. Okay, where are you from? From Ireland. Irish Gaelic. So we're in. I can't believe we're going to see the Taj Mahal. This is obviously one of the main things to do when you come to India. You can't leave without seeing it. It's one of the seven wonders of the world, and it's the first one to see actually out of them. <laughs> So yeah, I'm really excited. I think me and Keelan have said we're going to do a thing where we'll close our eyes and like do our first sort of reaction to it when we get there. Real quick, recently we came across a huge game changer while we're on our travels. This right here is the Durilla pillow and it's hands down the most comfortable pillow we've ever slept on. And right now you can get 70% off with a 30 day money back guarantee. The Derilla pillow is so comfortable, it's designed using a NASA inspired technique that actually molds to your own body shape. Whether you're a side sleeper, a back sleeper or a stomach sleeper, it is designed to fit all sleeping positions. So if you toss and turn all night, like some people, then this pillow is a dream. And speaking of dreams, the Derilla pillow has made our life on the road so much easier. 
We regularly take long distance journeys and stay in different hotels each week. So having this pillow has ensured a better night's sleep, whatever our situation. The Air Effect Memory Foam has a cooling outer layer that regulates temperature and can even reduce snoring by its ability to support your neck at the right height with its butterfly support wings for a more natural sleep posture. Sleeping with the right pillow is essential for your joints and your muscles to wake up pain free. So that's why the Dorilla pillow is perfect for a good night's sleep. Get a 70% discount on Dorilla's pillow. You can get your pillow with a 30 day money back guarantee. This deal won't last for long. So make sure to check it out by clicking our special link in the video's description and pinned comment below. And back to the vlog. As you walk in, there's another actual building on front of it. You've got to walk through that and then you come in to see the Taj Mahal. So, Close it's... your eyes. <laughs> How are we going to do with this? We'll just have to look down. We'll have to walk in like that, Samantha. And then just have a little look up so we'll see. We'll see how beautiful it really is. I'm not looking at it. <laughs> Ooh, are you excited? <laughs> right, keep your head down. Keep your head down. Don't look until we're actually out there and we get a full view of it. <laughs> Might you see it in photographs? Ready? Ready, 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 ready one, <laughs> two, two, three. Oh, oh my what? God. <laughs> God. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's exactly the way it's being composed. It is, Amazing. exactly. Is it smaller than, I, than you expected? Well, it's the way I expected is it. it? Yeah, it's, it's a little exactly bit smaller than I expected, expected, but it's unreal. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, you better show you. <laughs> So we've came a little bit closer here. There's a little <laughs> barrier. I was gonna say you can't get in, but there's people hopping. <laughs> but of course it's there is. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at the grounds and all around no, it. Oh yeah, it's stunning, it's isn't it? Stunning, yes. Yeah. It's really, really gorgeous. I mean, you have to come here and get your photo. I think that's the main thing that we've come for. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Okay, so yeah, one of the options that you can do actually when you come to the Taj Mahal is a guide. And there's no uh, shortage of offers every time you walk anywhere there's somebody saying guide 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 we've decided to not go for a guide because we just want to kind of come in and have a look and take some pictures and kind of just see it for ourselves i guess it would be interesting i suppose to do a guide but um i think with the tickets that we have we can get inside as well so we just we're just here for a look Amy. to be honest we're just here for a look i mean anyone that wants to know about it would probably come and see it like yeah, it might be on yeah. their list or their book yeah. list so we're just yeah. here again to see it and just to show it like and yeah yeah we have the we basic didn't really want to do a tour. yeah we have the basic kind of gist and facts about it like you know that kind of way but it's the, it is it's 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 one of those because you see so many pictures of it and now to actually see it with your own eyes it's yeah, just do you like, know what? i just think it's like as i said it's one of the seven wonders of the world and we're here <laughs> <laughs> it's great it's a great feeling isn't it it is yeah it is most definitely a tree for the eyes We also contemplated the whole getting up for sunrise type of thing as well but I think like th there's a fair amount of people here it's not overly packed and it's like two o'clock in the day so I would assume it's kind of like this the second it opens you know right to the end you know so I think people the idea coming at sunrise that there's not many people here but look we're here at two o'clock and there's not a huge amount of people here so it is what it is isn't yeah. it? Do you know what it seems so crowded when we were coming through there was yeah, a bit yeah. chaotic but when you're in here it's obviously so grand and big yeah. that it doesn't seem as crowded. Yeah yeah there's plenty, plenty of space. Plenty of space yeah. Also as well we are on the GoPro um, to get in to the Taj Mahal is quite an ordeal and um, we had to go and leave some stuff in the lockers and things like that so there wasn't allowed any tripods, any microphones, anything like that so we just have to go. I wasn't even allowed to have the tripod that I used to hold the GoPro and it's only that side so it's just none is, uh, is allowed at all so that's it's why grand. we're, we're on the GoPro. We're going to make the most of our camera yeah. here but we would have loved to bring tripods, selfie sticks, the whole yeah, I'm not yeah. too sure actually about the selfie sticks yeah. so we just left ours behind yeah, anyway. Yeah. So if you are coming to the Taj Mahal it's just phone or handheld camera. That's it. Squirrels. 
in our little reveal of our first impression thing, I did say that it did look a bit small. Now that I'm right beside it, it is most definitely not small. It is massive, isn't it? Huge, yeah. I think it's the grounds are so big when you walk in. Yeah. I know what you thought, like yeah, why you yeah. were thinking it. But like that, that's how I knew because it's just so many people when you're queuing up and when you come in then like there's loads of space. So yeah, it's just, yeah. It's a con con uh, contrast kind yeah, of thing. But now that we are right beside it, it it's absolutely massive. huge. You actually have to <laughs> 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 look over it like <laughs> Mother, there's your favorite sign. Please keep distance from monkeys. <laughs> I don't see any monkeys, though, do you? We've seen some outside. Outside, not inside, Mahal, though. Yeah. Oh. That's lovely, isn't it? It's gorgeous from here, even, isn't it? Yeah, every angle is just yeah, it really so is. pretty. Even this bill's in here. I'm yeah. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really beautiful. Yeah, there's a few really nice buildings, but they're kind of just to the side like you're kind of not really looking at them because no, it's the Taj Mahal that. yeah it's the main one yeah it's very rich all of it or something it isn't is, it yeah. it's very very grand yeah. yeah right so we've done a full circle of the Taj and there's another one of those lovely buildings I don't know the name of them but uh, they're equally as impressive to be honest they're just not as big they're absolutely gorgeous but as you can see from here we're so close to the Taj that you can actually see some of the detail that's in it and uh, it's absolutely stunning. Despite being in the presence of an actual wonder of the world, we knew pretty soon that a selfie frenzy was going to break out. So before the madness began, Samantha needed to drop her fun facts about the Taj Mahal. So we're close up to the Taj Mahal now, and it's white marble. The whole thing is built from white marble. And the reason why is there was an emperor at the time and he had a couple of wives, but there was one in particular that he really adored. <laughs> so he built it in white marble for her to show his love towards her. Okay. Yeah, so, so it's known as a symbol. It's a symbol of love, the Taj Mahal. So yeah, that's why it's so impressive. <laughs> <laughs> right, more interesting facts that we've memorized from Google. So it says 20,000 dedicated workers it took to create it. Okay. And it took 22 years to complete it, and oh. it cost 32 million rupees. So it took ages, and it's expensive. <laughs> yes. That's probably why it looks so brilliant. So he really loved this woman. He really loved <laughs> one of his wives. Yes. <laughs> it's uh, one of the seven wonders of the world, and it has been a protected UNESCO World Heritage site since 1983. Now, we have been to a few of the UNESCOs. Just not a wonder of the world. Not a wonder of the world. We okay. have been to a few UNESCO. We actually Heritage have, yeah, 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 we have, yeah. But our first wonder of the world, yeah, and many more, we plan to hopefully one day <laughs> have the seven ticked off our bucket lists. It's ambitious, but <laughs> we'll give it a go. We're trying to get inside the Taj now. Now, I've heard you can't fill them, so I would assume that's the case, but we'll see anyway. <laughs> Right, we have to put on our little I'm shoe for, things. I'm just looking queue for 200 online counter ticket holders. Now we have the queue for the 250 ticket rupee ticket holder. So we paid 1350 rupees, I think it was, but included the inside as well. Okay. So I presume we just queue in it and then showed them our ticket and we got our little shoes. You have to, to wear these on. little shoe Blue. covers on your <laughs> feet for going inside. The... I don't know, maybe the ground and all is marble, is it? <laughs> maybe. Oh, you better bang them on. You look like you're going into the doctor's surgery. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Is there a left and right? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> 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 this is Christ, I wear these for the rest of India. <laughs> right, so the reason for the Smurfy has uh, still unknown. We are assuming that it's so spanky in here that we can't get a speck of dirt anywhere, so that's why we're in the. Uh, the shoes, so we just have to figure out how to get in. So I'm just reading this because we weren't sure about the filament. Oh. But mobile phones be kept in switch off mode inside the monument. Oh shit, right. So you'll yeah, we'll have to wait until we get out. <laughs> Basically you could see the two tombs in there. So that was the idea as well. He built it for his one of his wives. And they're both buried there himself and her as far as okay, I know. Yeah. Like yeah. we were saying, if, unless you are really interested in like the architecture and like the designs and the details and of of the of the marble itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd probably um, love it. You'd probably love it, as in to do a guided tour. But other than that, I mean that without a guided tour it's just great to walk around and see the whole place. What we did was perfect. Yeah. As the sun began to set, our time at the Taj Mahal had come to an end. 
sorry, it's time to go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> And although we are blown away with just how beautiful the palace was, we think it's fair to give the other side of our experience while visiting the Taj Mahal. As Keelan touched on it earlier, it was such an ordeal to actually get inside the Taj Mahal. From the second we arrived, we were completely bombarded by people trying to sell us things no matter how many times we tried to say no. There were so many scammers posing as government officials offering a fast pass into the Taj Mahal in order to get extra money out of us. It's so hard to actually trust people. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And not today, they have a long queue here. See this man, look yeah. at that side. There is a long queue here. We're waiting like a one and a half hour waiting for queue. Okay. When we go Taj Mahal, like here, when we go here, Taj Mahal, like here, also big queue here. Okay. So here, yeah, government people, so they're working here for the government tour guide of Taj Mahal. So we okay. quickly Taj Mahal without queue, no waiting for anybody to here. Right. No waiting here, no waiting in Taj Mahal. So it's nice to for Taj Mahal drop it off, come back and give it for tape. See this. Government of India, madam. Government of India. Okay. So what, what, so what exactly are you offering? What's the catch? Like what's the open? <laughs> yeah, but what we're going to get in ahead of everybody else, like fast. Yeah, this is fast. Okay, but why is I everyone? Will you, I will take you without twenty. Okay. And you will explain. Why is everybody not doing that? How much is the cost? For checking. Charge not too much price. Only 975 rupees. Is it? Ah, uh, no, we're all right. This is not a 1% ticket, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, ma'am, listen. This is not a 1%. It's a 2 dead. 975. 2 dead, that's 975. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but we already sp spent 2600 on, on tickets. This is for tickets. Ah, yeah, so you're offering a fast track. This is for fast this is actually a scam so if you're visiting the Taj Mahal we just want to let you know another aspect that really bothered us was we kept seeing cases of animal cruelty the worst of all was the staff member in the locker room who viciously attacked a dog just a couple of feet away from us this created an altercation between Keelan and him I don't think I can say on YouTube what I really think of him which really angered us both so, as you can imagine, all of this in the space of 30 minutes just to enter really did leave a sour taste on what we hoped would be an amazing experience. As we made the four hour trip back to Joypur from Agra, our spirits were lifted once more by the amazing people at La Fort Homestay, as our friends Nermit and Shuby had prepared a lovely home cooked meal for us. It's called Dal Chawal. Dal Chawal. Chawal. Yeah, so Dal is basically our pulse and Chawal is our rice. Okay. okay. The next day was sadly our last day in Jaipur and given our newfound love for masala chai, Aleph had the perfect place for us to go. The only thing was we had to get up at five o'clock in the morning and if you know me and Keelan, that's not really our strong suit. Further proof of how much we love a good cup of masala chai. Cheers. 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 <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Cake. This will heat us up. Aleph <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> told us a story about a man called Galabji who opened the chai stall 80 years ago. Gulabji became a known name in Jaipur for his generosity as he would give free choy and bread to beggars in the early hours of the morning. Once they were all fed, Gulabji would then sell choy to the rest of the community. Now it has become a hangout spot for local people to come and drink choy and to chat while still continuing to help those in need. Okay. Bread, butter and all those stuff. So ah, okay. Bread and butter, in May 2020, at the age of 95, Galabji passed away. But as Aleph told us, his beautiful tradition lives on. After our morning chai, it was time to have one final meal with Aleph before we left Jaipur. We headed to our favourite coffee place for some breakfast and some of the best coffee we've ever tasted. 
So we keep discovering new sweet drinks in India <laughs> and I've just found one of my favourites, peanut butter coffee. <laughs> Never had one before and I love peanut butter, it's absolutely delicious. <laughs> amazing coffee, amazing food, roastery. Uh, coffee in Joypur. If you are in Joypur, definitely come and check this out. As we travel, we stay in many places, but staying with Aleph at Le Fort Homestay was without a doubt one of the best. Bye bye! See you later! Bye bye! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, buddy! Say bye bye! <laughs> oh. May all guests who ever oh. enter leave as friends, <laughs> and that is oh. so true. <laughs> 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 if you like this video please leave a thumbs up it just helps our reach on youtube you can also follow us on instagram at go time travels for all of our daily updates we still have plenty more videos to come from india so please make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of it and once again thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one